why you don't go for a drink or a drug or something else which is physically whatever, is… Padmasana is being renamed as criss-cross applesauce <laughs> You're joking. I'm not joking. Doing improper yoga is not just that they're going to hurt their body, they will bring calamities into their life. I think I've taken off at least… at least two dozen reasonably popular yoga teachers in America to stop teaching. So always you must do it in the cooler hours, otherwise it'll go and cause cellular damage. So now they're doing yoga at forty-two degrees centigrade. When I saw this, this is insanity. So that's the reason I decided we must train Hatha Yoga teachers in classical Hatha Yoga. What yoga means, which is the whole concept of unity, Unfortunately, both in India and elsewhere, even this concept is getting diluted is, you will say, and I'm hesitant to use Distorted. It's distorted and distorted to an extent where it is almost unrecognizable. A lot of so-called yoga gurus have partitioned the whole, compartmentalized it as to a form of physical exercise and have lost out the core of the whole concept of it. But do you think that this breaking up is again an expression of where we are, consciousness, humanity, togetherness, all of that? Just ignorance. Okay. No, but what happens to yoga? I mean, since you're… since this is an area which you are… Uh, now, uh, the California court uh, ruled that if yoga has to enter the schools, you must remove all the Indian names. So, Padmasana is being renamed as Criss Cross Applesauce <laughs> You're joking. I'm not joking. Criss Cross Applesauce? Yes. <laughs> to teach the children Criss Cross Applesauce <laughs> looks like Padmasana. I must cry but I'm laughing <laughs> <laughs> I know, <laughs> this is weep worthy <laughs> In terms of uh, yoga getting all distorted, it is a serious concern because the type of yoga that is going on, particularly, you know, I… though I come from the stables of Hatha Yoga, I never thought I should teach Hatha Yoga because I didn't want to put people through such long processes because I have other ways of doing things. I thought we will never really teach Hatha Yoga except as a preparation for some long meditation programs, just forty days, sixty days kind of preparation. But in the last five, six years, uh, I've seen many… I think I've taken off at least… at least two dozen reasonably popular yoga teachers in America to stop teaching because I just pointed out what they were doing and how it is impacting their lives. See, doing improper yoga is not just that they're going to hurt their body, they will bring calamities into their life. Because what you… what you need to understand is, Hatha Yoga, the simple physical form of yoga, is a way of aligning your system with the cosmic geometry. So if you do it wrong, it's dangerous. If you do it wrong, you not just may cause physical damage, you will bring situations in your life which are completely uh, disastrous for you. Whether your life works smoothly and constantly successfully or constantly you're in a pit depends on how well aligned or you're disaligned with the whole process. So Hatha Yoga is one way of aligning. It is a more physically probably in today's world more difficult way of doing it, but there is a certain beauty to it because it gives you health, it gives you well-being, at the same time, it gives you success and focus and a different level of blissfulness in the body, which very few people experience. If you just sit here, how I more my body feels right now, I won't exchange this for anything. So why you don't go for a drink or a drug or something else which is physically whatever, is simply because you're in a better state than all those things. <laughs> if I was miserable, maybe I would also drink. Yeah. If there is something going to elevate you for some time, why don't you do it? But 
when everything is so fantastic, why do you want to mess it up with something? That's a question, it's, it's not a moral decision, it is just a question of… Uh, Physical need. No. If you… if you are living in a better place, why do you want to come down Absolutely. to a yeah. more gross and, you know, basic kind of thing? So when you are able to manage your own chemistry the way you want it, why would you want to throw chemicals into the system? It's as simple as that. So when I saw these yogic systems which are growing and becoming popular in America, I wouldn't like to name <laughs> people and whatever because for many reasons. For example, these days it's become a fad for people to do yoga in forty-two degrees centigrade temperature. The classical yoga always prescribes, if you do any yogic process, you must either do it before 8.30 or 9 in the morning or after 4, 4.30 in the evening because you must do it in the cooler hours. When you do any yogic practice, particularly hatha yoga, you will develop an enormous amount of ushna. Ushna is not to be understood as temperature alone. It causes temperature, but it is not temperature by itself. The whole Ayurvedic system functions on ushna, shita yes, and pitta. Absolutely. So ushna is one aspect because the yogi always wants to keep his ushna slightly above the normal. He wants to be hot because for various reasons, if your body… Because the yogi's main concern is his perception, that he wants his perception to be unhindered. So anything that comes in its way, he wants it to be burnt out in the system, he doesn't want any excess mucus in the system, he does not want any excess fluids in the system, he wants to keep it slightly hotter than what is normal. So when you practice Hatha Yoga, the whole system is created to cre generate that Ushna. So always you must do it in the cooler hours, otherwise it will go and cause cellular damage. So now they're doing yoga at forty-two degrees centigrade. When I saw this, this is insanity. If… if you allow these things to happen for a period of time, one day medical research will come and show you how doing yoga destroys your system. It's not far away. Already some articles in New York Times have come and they become… they've been circulated yes, all yes, over, yes, how yoga is damaging to the system. If you allow this kind of yoga to flourish, that will be the conclusion in another five to ten years and immediately everybody will drop it. Right now it's rising without any papacy anywhere, simply by its sheer efficacy, it's just rising all over the world. You will kill that. So that's the reason I decided we must train Hatha Yoga teachers in classical Hatha Yoga. Twenty-one weeks, a dedicated focused time, they've never been through any training in their life like this. They think being a yoga teacher means dressing up in a certain way and, you know, using a few Indian words, this and makes them into… <laughs> and producing a video. Yeah. So now we're really putting them through works twenty-one weeks and uh, this will produce definitely more stable teachers who will take yoga in its right format so that tomorrow if somebody is doing yoga, any kind of scientific, st scientific study you conduct on them should be an absolute thumbs up for sure on all levels, physically, psychologically, emotionally and in ways that they don't understand.